Welcome to the Behind the Bench Sports Network. This is the Kobe Bryant Film Room. Hey, so Team USA did it. The USA basketball team beat the French national team uh, in a thriller, you know, to win their first, their gold medal in 2024. Um, congratulations to them. But I wanted to get into this topic once again. We're having MVP talks. The world is in a flux. Niggas don't know what to do. Right? <laughs> down is up. Up is down. Left is right. Right is wrong. <laughs> so, you know, everybody's uh, scrambling and scraping. You know, um, <laughs> after Steph Curry is not named the MVP of the gold medal game or the, the uh, or the Olympics, rather. Um, it was given to one LeBron James. Um, and I want to say this about the MVP award, because a lot of people are in the uproar. They're upset. They're mad. They're pissed. I want to say this about the MVP. I've been speaking about this for a long time, y'all. Yeah, I've been speaking about the MVP. I've seen players get robbed based on the media and their bias. You know, whoever they want to give it to, they're going to give it to. A, a lot of people who end up winning the MVP are deserving. Most guys are deserving. Um, so it is what it is. To me, I maintain this uh, throughout. Y'all listening to my videos and my content. You guys know I don't give a damn about the MVP. And you might say, well, that's a prestigious award. Why don't you care? I don't give a damn about the MVP because... In an all-time conversation, a media award doesn't mean a damn thing to me, right? I look at the game of basketball, I watch film, I study film, and I watch how the players play in the biggest moments, and I watch how players shrink, and I watch how players melt down, and I watch players' strengths and their weaknesses on the court, and they can't hide that from me, right? They can't hide that from me. You know, and that's why I say when you judge things off film, you know, they, they there's no cover up no more. You know, the biases go away and now it's even Steven. Right. So this is what I want to say to all of you. You know, how much stock do you put in these awards, man? That's a question I got for y'all. How much stock do you put in these awards, man? We see the defensive player of the year get destroyed <laughs> not be a, he he wasn't able to guard any damn body right meanwhile tim duncan doesn't have one you know scotty pippen doesn't have one a, a lot of great players never won defensive player of the year who were fantastic defensively right this guy has four right i'm not gonna name no names there's no disrespect to the guy it's just the facts right but We've seen people who believe Shea Gilgris Alexander should have been the MVP. We've seen people believe that one year should have been Jokic. He should have been three times in a row. We've seen people believe that Shaq should have won an MVP. Kobe should have won an MVP. Uh, Jordan should have won more MVPs. We, we got people who believe that, uh, <laughs> that Embiid should have never won his MVP. You know, that Giannis was supposed to win another one. Uh, to me that none of that shit matters i go based on your play and how you played that year um and i want to say this <clears throat> shout out to uncut hoops because uncut hoops did a video about this specific topic and he mentioned something that holds dear to me he mentioned how you play against the competition he said the mvp should go to the player who plays the best against the best competition right anybody can get stats against puerto rico and all these bottom feeding teams but how many of these guys can actually have a great game against the stiffest competition in the world right shout out to steph curry man i think he had eight eight threes in the game one game and nine threes in the game another game steph curry was sensational amazing fantastic he deserves his shine but to me that mvp even if he got it 
doesn't mean a damn thing. Uh, he was balling. The man was balling. We're going to know this. He balled when we look at the film. We're going to see that he destroyed the competition. And Steph Curry, yes, Stephen Wardell Curry was the reason Team USA brought home the gold. He was the best player in the games that mattered the most. And he, he helped bring it home. He was one of the guys who helped bring it home. Now, I want to say this. It's a team game. Uh, so the man still won a gold medal. He represented his country. And he brought that shit back home. Maintaining the power and order of the world. You know. Uh, so no matter who the media puts in front of him. No matter the MVPs that he gets or doesn't get. You know, you can't tell me that Iguodala, you know, because he won finals MVP, somehow Steph is invalidated. What does that mean that he won finals MVP? What does it mean? Does it mean he was the best player on the team? Does it mean he was the leader of the team? What does it mean? Anybody who watched and knows basketball knows Steph was the driving force of that team. And he probably should have got the award. I don't mind Iguodala getting it or whatever. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he was balling. They couldn't hold him. They couldn't stop him. They tried. They couldn't. Even when KD won it, you know, Steph Curry put up MVP caliber numbers. And he, he played well against the better competition. You know, some of those series, we knew Golden State was going to beat Cleveland. You know, in 2018, we knew that. 2017, it was up in the air and people going to act like it wasn't, but it was. 2018, and I'm talking about before the finals started, it was up in the air. Now, when niggas saw what they had to go up against, you know, when the first couple of games, then they started bowing down and started saying, oh, go, it was unfair. But they thought they had a chance in 2017. Now, in 2018, we all knew Steph and KD were fighting over the MVP. Not literally fighting, but, you know, uh, trying to give it to each other. You know, well, Steph, well, KD was trying to give it to Steph, right? Because Steph hasn't won it yet. And, uh, but we all know Steph put up the numbers. You know, he played, he played phenomenal, you know. So, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's how you play against the best competition, you know, the best versus the best and that's how va basketball should be judged based on competition we have gotten so far away from competing that people forget that you know people forget that's what truly matters the best playing the best the best beating the best playing the best while beating the best right and so <clears throat> that's what i wanted to comment on the MVP is a nice award to put on your trophy case. But at the end of the day, the media has ruined this award by being biased, by um, having agendas. And so it doesn't mean a damn thing for me to me in all time ranking. So when I look back at the game, I'm saying, nah, Steph Curry was the reason they won. Steph Curry was the main reason they won. Right. He played the best. He closed out the games. He showed up in the fourth quarter and he had an all time amazing, sensational performance for the ages that will be remembered forever. You know, and they can't take that away from him. They'll have to burn the footage, you know, which they might start doing in the future because they're starting to get bold with the propaganda. But. Till they do that, <laughs> this is the Kobe Bryant Film Room. Like and subscribe to my channel, Kobe Bryant Film Room. We might do a live stream tonight on the Kobe Bryant Film Room talking about Steph Curry and, uh, and, and how he should be judged as a player in his era, right? So like and subscribe to the Behind the Bench Sports Network and peace. I'll holla at y'all later. Y'all take it easy.